Hey there, welcome to the Silent Age. A clicking point adventure, which we're gonna do. The present. It looks like just another Tuesday as Joe sweeps down the floors of the anonymous cold office hallways. Then he notices the note. A meeting with the brass? Little does he know that today is about to take a very dramatic turn. Nineteen sixty five. Nineteen sixty eight. Huh, I've gone into the army. And we look the same as everybody else. Nineteen sixty nine. A simple job. For a man qualified for nothing. Except shooting people. 1971. Another simple job. Seventy-two. Here we go. The present. I see your note. What have you got for me? There's a sticky note near the door. It says, Joe, Mr. Hill wants to see you. Frank. It's my office. It says so in permanent marker right underneath the supply room. Well, let's get into the office. Archon Research Facility, Joe Smith. Employee of the month. Well, well done Joe, Smith. With your very, very, very generic name. Okay, let's do that. Oh, let's put it on then. Here we go. Employee of the month. It's my award. I got it for helping out some of the lab assistants. Uh, downstairs after you mishandled some barrels. I agreed to keep them here. The award ceremony ceremony was okay. Get back. The award ceremony was sort of unofficial, and I was told to keep the plaque in my office so no one would get jealous. Bullshit. Borax, citric acid, eye wash, bleach, and hand soap. Some of the labels have been peeled off, but I keep them in alphabetic order, so that's okay. Kind of unsafe when someone in, someone else has to grab something from your office, but whatever. I found this hat back last summer's after last year's summer's party. Perfectly good table, left out in the rain. I got the baby cleaned up, and some more words. Hazardous barrels. These barrels were brought in here about a year ago. I don't mind them. I have plenty of space, and they hardly smell at all. Sounds like a bad thing though. Let's get going. I have my level 1 access card with me. Maybe I can go here. It's a blue access card reader. Okay, here we go. Modern art, huh? Must be French. Oh yes, it must be. Hello, Mr. Secretary. You know smoking I is bad for you, uh, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Mr. Hill's expecting you. Just walk right in. All right, thank What's you. What's the matter, sugar? Can't got your tongue? Just get your honey in there. Is that how you spell that? Okay, your clocks are really loud, yo. I'm thinking of installing some more clocks myself. I had a bit of class to my office. Although I'm not sure, oh, I have no idea what this graph represents, but whatever it is, it seems to be going well. I'd say lawsuits against the company, but that's just a wild guess. Keep moving. I've never been one for heights, but behind these thick panes of glass, I can sort of appreciate a few. Yeah, it looks good enough. It's a big city. Hello, uh, Mr. Hill. Jasper. It's... It's Joe, sir. Yeah, Dick. Uh, of course, Joseph. Uh, how long is it that you've been with this company, Joseph? 
About two years, sir. Ah, yes, then by now you must know that what we do here is very important. Uh -huh. National security may be just a word to most people, Jasper, but for men like you and I, it means so much more. We see the people behind those words. We understand that it means the safety of every citizen in this country, not to mention the shareholders and the hard-working clerks and stakeholders at the government funding agencies. It also means a lot of pressure. A lot. And some men just... buckle. Which brings me to the main point of my agenda. A position just opened up, and we're promoting you, Jasper. Joe. It, it, I'm... Sir? Don't think the company doesn't notice its hard-working employees. We reward achievement in this organization, young man. And you've just made yourself a gold star. This means that from now on, you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments too. That's oh, right. Fuck you. That means downstairs lab sanitation, drain assignments, the works. With all the clearance that entails, that's a lot of responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I, I thank you, sir. Uh, but what about Frank? Yeah, what about Frank? I know you made a great team, but Frank decided to pursue a different career path this morning. We wish him all the best. Oh, and of course you understand that we won't be able to present you with a fancy title or a measurable pay raise. This is a modern company, you understand. We like to keep a flat organizational structure here. I... Dick. So congratulations, Jasper. I bet you must be very excited to get back to work with all your new responsibilities. That's perfectly understandable. I won't keep you a minute longer. Here's your key card. I bet they killed Frank. And why do you have two phones? Feels so important. I've always wondered who was at the other end of that red phone, but I never dared to pick it up. Frank says he knows, but if he told me, he'd have to kill me. And that is why Frank is dead. Now we get to access this elevator. Open sesame. Here we go. What's in for your head, huh? It's a nice one. Well. Blood? Looks like blood. Maybe someone cut themselves, or a lab animal got loose or something. Either way, I'll be the one mopping it up this time. Open up. You're broken. Where are you? Oh, more blood, huh? Totally missed that first. I'm not much of an engineer, but it seems to be. S but there seems to be something attached to the wires that clearly don't belong there. I could remove it and put the panel back in place if I had something to protect. My hands. Got it. I removed the thing and pushed the panel back in place. Well done. Let's check out the blood because it's going in the door hmm. that I just repaired. No case of nosebleeds. It's, it looks serious. Just open this door with the blood trail. Because that's a better thing than coffins. Actively bleeding people. Ah. Uh, people that are really actively bleeding. Something fell off the code. Looks like a handkerchief, okay. Right out of a science fiction movie. Oh well, yes it does. Oh, don't press the buttons. Well. I ruined it. It's a very expensive data processing unit. It doesn't really say expensive, but I think it's a fair guess. The warning sign reads caution, keep away from liquid materials. Okay, so no bleeding over the console. Management needs to know about this. I only approved this time though. Ever since I had that ever since that stupid Halloween prank the science department pulled on me last year, I don't think they'll take me seriously again. Alright, first let's get back to management. Back to Dick. I mean the boss, Mr. Hill. Hmm. Weird. The hatch is open, but I don't remember hearing about any inspections or repairs being done today. Hmm. That is weird. I'm pretty sure the blood on the floor is Frank's, and his body is on top of the elevator. Oh, I can run. Nice. 
going. I'll just skip you, Mr. Goliath. Mrs. Goliath. Go to Mr. Hill. Ah, oh, okay. Hey there. Um, there's an emergency. Miss Goulet? Goulet. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, some, something's bad. The downstairs handkerchief has basement all over the blood. Uh, what? Uh, no, I, I mean... <laughs> Good heavens, sugar. That rag's got blood all over. Have you hurt yourself again? No, no, it, it's... <sighs> we keep telling you boys to follow company safety policy. I send out memos almost every week. I honestly don't know why I bother sometimes. <laughs> you may look like capable grown men in those boiler suits, but you're really just big boys, ain't you? Aren't we all? But I'm not the one who... No need to explain. Let me just take care of that for you. Now, let's see what Gloria has for you here. Ooh, nice clean band-aid. Just go wash up and put that on. You'll be as good as new. But now run along, you little scamp. Excuse me? You little scamp? Way to go, Joe. After that performance, she probably thinks you're retarded or something. Better get back to the labs and find out more before you make a bitter fool of yourself. Before you make a bitter fool of yourself. Frank must have left in a hurry. I can't imagine you would even mess like this. Alright. Let's try. Oh, I know what I need to band aid for. Out. Far out. It's one of those doors where two people have to turn keys at the same time to open it. It's like something out of a secret agent movie. Only this one's use not. No, blah, blah, blah. Don't use keys but buttons. Oh, right. Push it. Put it there. Yes, alright. Take this one. Glad they're not keys. Let's get going. <gasps> Holy crap! Hey there! How you doing? <sighs> Mister, are you alright? You're, you're bleeding. Huh, that's... that's a lot of blood. Uh, stay right here. I'll go get help. No! No? Don't... don't get anyone. Are you alone? I I'm not sure what... I asked you a question. Are you alone? Yes, yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. Listen, <coughs> I'm shot mad. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I am about to tell you now. Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention! You're standing on the brink of an extinction-level event, set in motion by greedy half-wits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. I know this because I'm partially to blame. And though I realized our folly in time, Less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I have arrived from 40 years into the future to prevent it from happening. Whoa. Things are obviously vastly more complex than this, but for lack of time to explain this properly to an insufficiently primed recipient intellect, I am what you would probably perceive as a time traveler. Uh huh. Mister, y you've obviously lost a lot of blood. Quiet! <laughs> I have planned this out in every detail for the better part of my life. And I'll be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun toting, overachieving parking attendant who wasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in time. <coughs> Thankfully. You look fleeceable enough to be coaxed into performing one simple task for me. I... I want you to find me and tell me about this event before I depart for the past. You'll need this. What is this? It is a portable interdimensional planar membrane chronosync instrument. Uh-huh. It's a goddamn time machine, okay? 
For reasons you'll quickly come to realize. The device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. Despite this, I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. Don't let anyone see you with it, especially in here. Mister, between the blood and all this space talk, you're making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure how I can help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <laughs> go, <coughs> go. Mister? Mister? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, you can't be dead. Help! I need help in here! <gasps> Stay nope. right there, sir. I'm Listen, you gotta help me. Not moving. There's a guy in there. He, there's a lot of blood. He needs help. I said, stay right there. I'm not moving. But I, but I work here. You know me. I Keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. The police are on their way. Seriously? <laughs>